What's up, Average Dad fans? Welcome back to another video. And yes, as promised, here is the full setup from Factory Reset of the Vivo X Fold 3. And for those without a Vivo X Fold 3 or Vivo device, any Chinese ROM will be set up in the exact same way. Now, before we get into the setup video, I just wanted to let you know that your phone will look like this by the end or however you like your phone to look. And if you find this video helpful, you can support me in the channel by going to buy me a coffee, link in description. You can choose to support, or if you want to go a step further, sign up to a monthly membership where you will be included in every monthly giveaway, and I'll add you to the private WhatsApp members chat. Now, let's get on with the video. Now I absolutely love my secret lab's desk, but my god it picks up every piece of dirt. Anyway, here's what you want to see. The X Fold 3 Pro in all its glory. And as you'll see, not set up in the slightest yet. So, a few people get stuck even at this part. How do you get it to English? It's Chinese. As you can see here, Chinese, it just wants you to proceed. But how do you get it to English? Well... Tap on the little menu, you can see there's a drop down. Now when you've selected the little drop down, you'll see that the second language down is the one we want. But just to show you, because I will get these comments, many, many other languages you can choose from. French, Swiss, Thai, German, all those ones. But anyway, you want English. So just make sure you select English and you can see it's now changed to English. Now, like any manufacturer, if you want to use their phone and software and hardware, you're going to have to agree to their terms of service. Simply just accept all and proceed. Now, connect it to your Wi-Fi network. And voila, connected to the network. Now you're going to have to set up your biometrics. I always set up all of them, fingerprint, pin and face. So I'll go ahead and do that now. And I thought it would actually be good to show you this because it is different to the X Fold 3, but no different to the previous X Fold versions. The X Fold 3 has a side mounted fingerprint sensor. The X Fold 3 Pro is in screen, both on the inner and outer screen. So I'll just go ahead and set up my fingerprints. Now, once you set up all your biometrics, it's going to want you to sign into your Vivo account. I always just skip this at this stage. So you can see here, you can skip. You can go ahead and do that in settings later. And then the next screen, like any Android device, you can import your data. Now you can import your data from a Vivo device. Conveniently, I actually have my Vivo device. Or you can use the usual Apple, Android, cable, or Switch app, whatever you use. But for the purposes of this, and with it being a Chinese ROM, I actually think the best rule of thumb is to just start fresh. See how quick that fingerprint for work like that. Oh yeah. Anyway, so I'm just going to skip the data import and set it up from scratch. And now this is completely up to your preference. I always go for full screen gestures, but some people, for whatever reason, like the navigation button. So you go ahead and pick whatever one you like. And there we have it. The phone is set up. Now, obviously, the video is not finished you will notice there is no Google Play Store and it's not an app drawer. And it doesn't look as nice as my Vivo X Fold 3, which I'll just show you for comparison, side mounted fingerprint sensor. There we go. There's the Vivo X Fold 3 on the right and the X Fold 3 Pro on the left. Google, no Google. Now, this looks full of bloatware and a bit confusing. I understand that. But trust me, by the end of this video, it's going to look immaculate and you'll understand exactly what to do step by step. Now, the convenient thing for Vivo, while it looks confusing just now, there are some phones where you have to download APKs because you can't find it in the native app store. Well, nice surprise for Vivo owners. If you click on the Vivo app store, 
make sure you're in the apps section, which I am, but you'll go back out. So the main screen will look like this. Make sure along the bottom you're in the app section, which I am. Then up in the search bar, just search Play Store. You'll see this one, the third one down, come up quite a lot. That's not the Play Store. Only when you type the full words Play and Store will you actually get the real Google Play Store from the native app. So you can see the Play Store is just downloading just now. My bad. So just open the Play Store. And voila, this is the full Google Play Store. And when I come out and go to my home screen, that's it. So to confirm, once you've got to the home screen after setup, go to the App Store. It's usually got a little notification bubble because it needs some updates. Once you're in the App Store, just to show you again, Apps, search Google Play Store in full or just Play Store in full. This is the one you're looking for. Download it. As soon as you hit open, it's automatically added to the home page. Now, let's set up this device with an app drawer and remove all the bloatware. So what you're going to want to do is hit the settings menu. Now, continue down and we're looking for home screen. Scroll down, home settings. And right, the first option there you can see in standard mode, but I don't want that. I want drawer mode. So yes, I'll agree to the drawer, give it a second, and as if by magic, so the apps I did download, the Play Store, Google and Chrome, they've now moved to the app drawer. But that is a good thing, because you can now, with two fingers, squeeze in, it gives you a little tutorial as well, yes, yes, and then... Simply select as many as you like. You can see at the bottom here there is a little remove. So are you sure you want to remove these? Absolutely. And there you go, they've just disappeared. Now obviously you're gonna to have to do that for every single app, but ultimately, once you've removed all of the apps, and because you've set the language to English. And once you've installed all the apps you want, got it, yes, that's fine. Once you've installed all the apps you want, that's how you can make your home screen. So once you've done all the steps I've just mentioned, your phone will look either like this or however you want it to look. As you can see, I've now installed all the apps I use. I'm still in the app drawer menu. By the way, if you didn't know, these are some really cool kits you get with Origin OS. But my app drawer menu is now looking a bit more full and less sparse. So the last thing I wanted to show you was if you've got apps still and I've not removed even half of them yet, there is a lot of bloatware. Simply long press on any of the apps you don't want, click on uninstall, and then again, just uninstall. That now completely removes it from the device. Not just from the home screen, but from the device as a whole. So that should be your phone set up from factory reset all the way through to making it look clean with the app drawer or without, uninstalling all the bloatware, removing all the unnecessary apps. One thing you will notice that with the Vivo, and the recent Xiaomi Chinese ROM I had, I didn't need to go to the APK store online. The native app store from Xiaomi and Vivo had Google Play Store. It's important to note though, you must type in the words play and store in full before the Play Store shows up. And if you're watching this with a Huawei or Honor device, do a little search through my channel. I have done setup videos on them because they are slightly different with the whole Google services ban and all that good stuff. Again, if you've enjoyed this, 
like the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you can be bothered, go to buy me a coffee, the link in description, and I'll be back potentially later on today with my first impressions of the Vivo X Fold 3 Pro.